gonna fuck out of you, right? I'm gonna fucking stick my fingers right up your comedy hole and tickle your comedy prostate until <laughs> you ejaculate warm laughter all over the stage where I will stand like some sort of yogurt god. For years, Belfast was known for bombs, bullets, and the cheeky humour of Mae McFetridge. The old Northern Irish comics still perform, but in the heart of the city lies the ever-growing fresh comedians that are allowing Belfast to create a new comedy identity. Uh, I started the, well, sort of started the pavilion where Alan Irwin now, which he now runs. But that was kind of the beginning of the whole scene that we have now. Mm -hmm. But before that, there was the Empire for about, like, you know, 20 years. And I think the comedy there was pretty, you know, it was good for the time, you know, but it was all sort of troubles type comedy is all based on troubles and things like that and I think we've tried to move that beyond. I think it's like it's a really young scene at the minute like I mean even in terms of like mic and stuff it's only really been maybe about four or five years there's been like a proper open mic scene it's kind of like um, what the music scene was like maybe 20 years ago and like it's doing like really well now so I think it's just a matter of time. And then there are, there's a good scene here like there, there is a good range of nights there's maybe not as many gigs as there it's got a lot bigger for a start. There was only about when I started there was maybe 10, 15 at most guys below the circuit. Now there's well it's gonna be a smaller game, but probably about 40 now. So the last year's kinda of blew up a bit. There's bigger games and more gigs, which is generally better for everyone. So I'm going to add uh, the driving instructor, right? He's my driving instructor, which means he's able to get away with things that most driving instructors normally wouldn't be able to get away with. Uh, fucking the ball, for example. <laughs> <laughs> I like think uh, Northern Irish accent to people down south and people everywhere else in the world sounds really threatening. Um, so you can sort of, I mean, a lot of jokes can play on that. And I've heard a few people saying this that our voice just isn't. Uh, uh, you know, a known comedy voice, if that makes sense. I think it's really good that, like, on the comedy scene in Northern Ireland, there are very, very few people that will be doing, like, Protestant Catholic jokes or anything like that. I mean, I personally think it's something we should move away from, but what should we move to? It's a good question. <laughs> Another person, my mum. Uh, I've lived with my mum now for, for about 27 years. Uh, should, should be funny, should be funny. Um, um, I'm busy, I've lived, I lived in Cider for, for almost nine months as well. Uh, your face said you were kind of disgusted. It's a, it's a pretty traditional setup. It's... I think Belfast comedy scene is pretty vibrant at the minute. I think it's really um, interesting and diverse. I think there's a lot of different kinds of comedy and people try and sort of different experimental things, which I think is really good. Like the local guys influence a lot because they encourage you to do strange things that you don't ordinarily do, like tonight. I did a, I did a gig once, uh, it was only a 10 minute slot, but I did like the whole thing on someone's knee. I, like it. <laughs> I kind of like the scene up here. It's got, a, it's got quite a good reputation already, so um, I like the audience. And this is particularly this room, the green room is really, really cool, so yeah. At the minute, I would say one thing that Northern Ireland comedy is lacking is an audience, and because there's like no one's got any money anymore, you know, a lot of people don't have jobs. Um, it's just you need to sort of like cultivate more of an audience for the gigs that are going on because there's an awful lot of talent here, and people. I just I think a lot of people don't even realise that it's going on because before I was doing comedy, I didn't realise there was any sort of scene here at all. But what does the future hold for Belfast comedy scene? Like, I would certainly like a comedy club like The Stand in Edinburgh or Glasgow, like a, a really good comedy club that's kind of, you know, commercially viable and people can get paid. And it'd be nice, I'd love to see like quite a few of the comedians make a living from it, but at this point it's not, I don't, it's hard to know when that'll happen. <laughs> but there's a big recession on, you know, it's going to, again, Belfast is, it, Belfast's been one of the only towns you know, sort of major time, like cities in the UK and Ireland that's never really had a comedy club. It's probably by far the most vibrant place for comedy in like, Ireland at the moment. We'll get into, we'll get into the jokes, guys. Let's get into the video. Um, pretty surprised that uh, Ian Gillen you know, Club Trouble Cameras Club, you know, from the Wattle song. I mean, drinks at those prices. <laughs> <laughs> Club Trouble Canada drinks are free. <laughs> it's almost a scale business model. <laughs>